2023 was quite the year, huh? Because while it was a pretty boring year for tech in general, with none of the big three launching anything new and exciting, and calling Intel 14th gen new and exciting would be an insult to reality, but still despite that, it was one of the spiciest years on tech YouTube we have probably ever seen. And for once, I wasn't part of any drama, which is new. But the first big event was in April when Bitwit Kyle announced essentially his retirement from YouTube, and then when everyone thought he was gone forever, he kind of unannounced his retirement and said that he just had to take a break and he's continuing to do YouTube. And don't get me wrong, the entire situation with his now ex-wife is tragic and all, and one of the many reasons I'll probably never get married, but it is still very interesting to see how quickly he actually came back. I don't know if he just realised he really loves working in tech, or if he just really needs the money from it, probably both. But of course, we have to talk about the big one. Yes, the whole situation around LTT, the massive drop in quality, and all the other allegations thrown away were definitely the highlight of the year, though I gotta say I'm definitely thankful that uh, Gamers Next was at least courteous enough to wait until after LTX before, you know, this all kicked off and everything was kind of out in the open because that would have made LTX very awkward otherwise. Oh hey Jesus Sense. Oh hey Pedro PCMR who Saradichi Wendell Level 1 Tech. Hi, how are you guys doing? Yeah. It's a shame about those harassment allegations about a company that brought us out here, you know, it really brings out a mood of the place. And in the end, everything kind of turned out right. And it also had some pretty big impact for even the smaller YouTubers like yours truly. Because it only the break when no new LMG videos are being produced, a great time to capture some of that audience that was still longing for good quality tech content, but also their promises to make their testing software open source will make benchmarking damage easier. Granted, it also kind of stopped that huge wave of people leaving in mass from LTT to watch some other better tech content on YouTube, so while there's definitely some viewership that has definitely returned and is no longer watching videos from smaller creators like myself, I think overall it was still a net positive for the community. It really is insane how much can happen in tech, huh? And if there's anything Alastia has shown, it's that tech, what is usually considered one of the safest, nicest niches on YouTube filled mostly with just shy nerds, can also have its fair share of controversy. And for once, I'm happy to say I didn't cause any of it. Now, let's just hope that one way or another, 2024 will be even more exciting. But what do you think about everything that happened in the tech space on YouTube in 2023? Well, let me know down in the comments below. And while you're here, maybe also check out our Patreon, because even a single dollar month truly goes a long way. Plus, also, huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Just Rage, Ella Ronyak, Polish Roker, Lars Sunanim, Meg Sunder, Shin Ulcroft, Lensby, and Level Up. But anyway, that's about it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever. And I'll see you all in with. I make next. Goodbye everyone. Good. Bye.